Shizzle once told me that the Diablo 2 soundtrack pretty much went with anything. He told me this like f six, seven years ago. And it has come in handy quite a few times since then. And today is probably the most, <laughs> the handiest it's ever been. And also the most uh, relevant considering we just had an announcement for the uh, Diablo 2 remaster along with a bunch of updates. Uh, and so let's go ahead and borrow that soundtrack for Epic's Rogue. Now, Rogue is, uh, it does not have a soundtrack. It doesn't have any sounds. Uh, it is the original Rogue like, like all the Rogue likes are like this. Uh, it is, it's like net hacks and all those like old, old, old ass games that used to play on PC. If you used to play this, I, this was a little before my time, but they were available games, ASCII games like this were available on like these, uh, BBS sites that we used to dial into, uh, in order to play that had kind of like these, almost like an MMO, not really like MMOs kind of RPG. Like there was a multiplayer element there, uh, in some cases, uh, where you can, uh, contribute to like, uh, these trading sites or whatever. Uh, it was really interesting. So this is the one uh, that was uh, only created by Epix, uh, and which went bankrupt in like 1989. And then recently it was picked up, uh, or not recently, but at the time, I guess it was like, it was purchased and then recently put it on Steam. Uh, and it's been a bit of a, um, a guilty pleasure for me. It's a really, really simple, you're watching it right now in like full screen mode, right? Uh, but it does go down to windowed and it's like 640 by 480 or something like that. Some really small resolution, like old resolution. Uh, so you can have it like kind of just running in the corner, use like desk pins or something like that, just to have it like up and running in the corner. Uh, and you can just like hop on and just play a little bit. And you know, it's uh, it, it's triggered by the, it, every move is, is triggered by your movements. Uh, so if you need to like tab out for a second to do real work or something, you could do that. There's also a, uh, a, uh, an actual, um, well, I'll show you here. Let me get, let me actually name something here. Uh, I've been naming after a people from the community. So we'll give Demi a try here. Um, but yeah, there's also, uh, this, if you, if you, if you, for some reason <laughs> need to fool the boss that you're like working, Oh, don't worry boss. I'm working. Sure. None of the commands work or anything like that, but you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. But still, Hey, that one actually kind of worked. Uh, <laughs> so there's your fake. Hey, it's funny. All these old ass games, uh, had like this fake spreadsheet button that you can always like hit a button and it'll pop up for you. So that way, if you're playing games at work, you can, uh, you can hide the fact that you're doing so. Um, but I'll tell you though, uh, e even though this has been a guilty pleasure, it did take a little bit of time to learn all the keys. There are a number of keys here. They are case sensitive. So some of them will not register, but you just hold down shift and just hit the key and you're fine. Like for example, going up and down stairs, right? Uh, it's the uh, open, open close uh, 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 bracket. So you have to actually hit shift and then period and shift or then uh, comma in order to hit those. So there's like little quirks like that you have to get around. I mean, it's an old ass game, guys. Like you're gonna, <laughs> your quality of life is pretty low here, right? Um, but you see there's a lot of commands here. Now I've, I've memorized the majority of them, so I could kind of zip through this. So my my, uh, my runs have been pretty fast. Uh, I've done probably about, uh, I would say probably 20, 30 runs or so, um, which isn't really a lot. Well, now that I'm going through much faster and I'm getting better, um, and I'm having better, having better luck, uh, it, it, the, the matches seem to be going a little bit faster, but initially I was going one step at a time. Like here's, here's a, a Kestrel. You're going to push into it, right? Push the right arrow and then space bar. Kestrel doesn't hit you. Cool. You hit the Kestrel. You defeated the Kestrel. Yay. And we got some gold. That's what that little thing on the ground is. There is, um, now listen, the game is two ninety nine, right? Like it's, it's definitely a, um, uh, a cheap buy. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, PDF that is the instruction manual is bigger than the game itself. <laughs> like in terms of file size. Uh, at the bottom, hold on, real quick. At the bottom, you see my level, how many hits. Uh, that's your hit points, uh, your strength. Uh, and it's like, you know, how many you have versus how many is your max, right? Your gold and your armor. Uh, and then, of course, there's the time right there. Um, I don't know why it tells you the time. That's so funny. How many games tell you the time? Like real time, I guess WoW does. Uh, so here's a hobgoblin here. So what I'm gonna do, he doesn't see me yet. You can see I'm moving around, he doesn't see me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to equip, e oh sorry, uh, wield, so W for wield. Uh, and then I'm going to wield a short bow. And then, see so now wield a short bow. So now I'm gonna get in his line of sight and I'm gonna hit 
T for throw, and then I'm going to throw it in this direction. I'm going to choose what? I'm going to choose F. So it throws an arrow. It deflected off him. Now it's sitting on the ground there. And I'm going to go into F3 to repeat that command. That one uh, misses him as well. That does not deflect on the ground, but that one does hit him, and he is defeated. Get a little bit of XP. Pick up my arrow. You know, 24 arrows. Get my money, and we move on. Now, I do have a potion, so I'm going to go ahead and... and uh, Drink that potion cube for that uh, beast. It tastes like slime mold juice. Ooh, okay, what do you want to call it? I'll call it slime mold juice. I don't know what it did. Slime mold juice uh, actually refilled my health before, like eating slime mold did. So I didn't. Ha I wasn't missing any health, so that's not really anything to worry about. Now, if I have inventory, you can see there's all my stuff here. You can see uh, that I'm wearing a ring, plus one ring mail, uh, armor class five. Uh, and then uh, you know, a couple other things and some food. Now, there is a hunger mechanic, so it is a little bit of a survival. Oh, how goblin, hold on a second. It hit me. Mm, okay, he, he's missed me. He hit me once, which kind of hurt. Let me wield. Let me put my mace back on. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> you're now wielding some food. No, C, 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 C. Okay, there we go. So even if something's not in the list, you can select it. That's why when you go to those lists, and it'll say, like, hit C, D, or E, and then even though there's no A or B, it's because it does take into account other items that are in your inventory elsewhere. So Hobbit Goblin hit me. Uh, that's painful. Okay. Uh, it's excellent hit on you. I did not hit the Goblin. Okay. Barely misses. Okay. Let's just go in. I got excellent hit. That should do him. Okay. Woo. Man. One health. Okay. Uh, I don't have... Let me see inventory real quick. I don't have anything to refill my health. There's only one way. There's one way I can refill my health though. I can go back in this room. And you see my hit points are going up because I'm well fed, right? So I'm just gonna go back and forth. Uh oh, Kestrel. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. I've had all these good runs. Look at this. Well, Dimmy, at least he's not the bottom of the of the bunch there. Rodney. Rodney is when you forget to name your character. And I actually I got I guess I got like four coins with that one. Oh man. Alright, let's do another one. Um let me look over at, at uh Steam. Let's see. We'll go. Oh, you know what? How about Shizzle? Because he he did suggest the music. Okay, the Hobgoblin over there. Oh, he's already seen me. Uh, this one I'm going to. I'm gonna wield. Let's see. Short bow. And then we're gonna throw this direction. Arrows. Boom. Oh man. Headshot. <laughs> It is such, I mean, like, I know, I know some of you guys are like, why are you showing me this game? Like, I, I it's just, it's just been a guilty pleasure of mine. Like, I just have been playing it a lot, and I feel like if, it, if it's doing me some kind of service, like, surely somebody else will enjoy this too. Um, it's just kind of a quick, you know, have in the corner of your monitor kind of game. Let me see. That's stairs, by the way. We're going to do a little more exploring. We could, we could go up, but, uh, I want to see if there's anything else I could I could get from this floor. Gold is basically just points. I've not come across a merchant or anything like that. Let's see, what's a bat? Bats are kind of a pain in the ass. Let me go ahead and go back to this and throw this direction. F. There we go. Because they, they move all over the place. It's hard to hit. But there's like zombies and slimes, and the slimes will like separate while you're fighting them. Hobgoblin, does he see me? Yes, she does. Oh, he's in my face now. Let me see. Put that mace back on. Oh, shit. I'm wielding some food. Why I keep doing that? D. Got him. Uh, what is this? So if you're not sure about something, F3. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. F2. Uh, 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 and I'll show you a piece of armor. Oh, hell yeah. Let me give that real quick. Scale mail. I have to equip it, though, I think. Um, no, let's see. Uh, wield. No, shit. Hold on a second. Let me take care of this. Emu. Good. Guild novice. Oh, hey, upgrade. Uh, ding. Something. Let me see. Scale mail. So, let me see. D. Can I do something with it there? No, I can't. Let's see. What is my command for equipping armor? Let's see. Uh, drop something. Go up staircase. Read paper. Throw something. Zap with wand. Let's see. Go downstairs. Uh, fast play mode. Eat food. Wield weapon. Wear armor. Oh, w. Okay. Well, of course. Wear armor. Oh, oh, oh it's uh, uppercase W, actually. So, there you go. Capital. You're already wearing some. You'll have to take it off first. Oh. Then, uh, oh, it's the ring. Hmm. Okay, before we put it on, actually, we have to identify it because it, all right now, all it says is armor, right? Scale mail. We don't actually know if that's any good. I do have a scroll, though. Let's read that scroll. Scroll B. It banishes. What is it? You hear a growling noise very close to you. Oh, we summoned something. You, what do you call it? Uh, growling noise. So I guess we summoned a monster of some sort. 
What is this? Another scroll. Uh, you now have a scroll of growling noise called growling noise. Oh, got another one. All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll save this one. Let's see. Okay. So this is just going to zigzag through. Let's go. Oh crap. Emu. Okay. Let's go before we encounter whatever this thing is. Unless it was the emu. Kestra would take care of that. And we'll get out of here. All right. Second floor. There's some food on the ground there. Awesome. Now, if you miss a, if you miss a command, like if you're not sure what that was, if you're like zooming through real quick, yeah, F3 or uh, F, yeah, F3 and it'll, uh, F4, and it'll show you the previous um, command or a previous uh, uh, note. There's no log or anything like that, unfortunately. Bats. Like you can't see like a list of everything that that happened recently. Sixty gold pieces. Oh, we're working my way up the rankings. Ice monster. Ice monsters are a bit of a pain in the ass because if they get a lucky hit on you, they'll freeze you. And they have a range attack too. They'll freeze you. And then um, you could say frozen for several turns. Several turns. Um, and so, yeah, that's... Uh, and they'll just basically beat you, beat you to death. <laughs> Alright, so I have a silver potion. Let's see what that is. We're going to drink it. We're safe here, right? In this area, so we're going to drink it. You feel yourself moving much faster. Oh, cool. I wonder if this is this is just a calculation of what does that what does that say? Oh uh, yeah, slowing down. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now we know. <laughs> There's actually a way to list your what things that you've identified. Um, let me see. What was it again? Wear armor up to the right. See, search trapdoor, off potion, cancel command, fast play mode. Oh, recall. Yeah, there F6. So F6. Uh, let's see, it's potion of haste self. So cool. It'll 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 note what what it is here. So if you get another silver one, it actually might say it. But um, one of the big things about this game, and you've you've seen this reflected in other rogue likes, uh, is that um, there's almost everything is like a mystery. You're you're kind of like plopped into this world, uh, where you don't know what anything does. You don't know what it is until you actually test it out for yourself. Uh, and so. You know, that's why you have identify scrolls. That's why, you know, you want to you want to make sure you're kind of safe before you do it. You could try to, like, you know, translate that. But I've, I've tried to word scramble that and it doesn't make any sense. So, let's see, you read a scroll, it vanishes. Uh, uh oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, weird. Well, let's hold on a second. Oh, scroll of teleportation. Oh, wait, well, hold on a second. Where am I? Oh, wow, I'm way up here now. <laughs> uh, Evie misses me. Okay. Wow, that's kind of cool. All right, there's stairs here. I'm not gonna take a risk. I'm gonna go to the second floor or third floor. Oh wait, hold on. Let me just go. Let me just take a peek. Nothing. Okay, cool. There's a bat. Boom. boom. <laughs> Add your own sound effects, guys. Another bat. <laughs> Got some gold. Gotta finish that corner. So, uh, I mean, do I have to tell you that this is procedurally generated, right? I mean. <laughs> Is there certain if there should be certain things I don't have to tell you guys, right? Let's see. Uh short bow. Good. Throw this direction. Let's we could throw our mace, I guess, at it. We could. There you go. Look at that. Oh. Let's just go to the next floor. Wow, we're just cruising through these floors. This is gonna bite us in the ass very soon. Let's see wheels. Uh back to the E. There we go. Got some food. Oh, he dropped some food. Awesome. I haven't been uh, not hungry yet. I should be hungry very soon. Food doesn't typically last this long or last about this long. Okay, let's keep going. Now, there are some rooms that are dark. Like, for example, that room we started in, you notice that it was dark. Um, like, there's no green dots, basically. That just means that uh, uh, there are some rooms that are um, just, like, if you're pitch black. And I've not found any torches or anything yet that will, like, illuminate more or anything. So, hmm. Uh, gosh, should we just go? Yeah, let's go, dude. Level 5. Cool. Oh, what is the R again? Hmm. What if I throw? I'm gonna try throw my axe at him. I'm gonna throw a tan potion at him. No, no, let's throw uh, uh, let's throw my mace at him. Sorry, mace. Okay. Oh, it's a rattlesnake. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and wield my uh, bow now that I threw that on the ground. Good. And let's throw it. Every step, he's moving closer. <laughs> Arrows. Oh crap. Oh, jeez. And what is this? You now have an agate ring. Cool. Now I can just put them on, but. 
kind of risking, right? Like you might be cursed, it might make you weaker, it might make you uh, lose your hit points, make you poisoned, stuff like that. But I do have a uh, potion here that I've not drank yet. Tastes great, makes you feel warm all over. I don't see what it did necessarily. What do you want to call it? Warm all over. Let me see. Okay, so just oh yeah, so it just makes me feel warm all over. It probably heals me for a little bit, but I wasn't missing any health, so no big. Uh, am I still? Good weapon in hand. Okay, good. So I just I still have it. So G. Arrow misses the orc. Misses the orc. Miss, hits the orc. There we go. You don't get to keep the one that's in the orc though. <laughs> you don't get to recover that one. The soundtrack is so good, by the way. Undeniably good. Uh oh. What was that? Oh, uh, you were caught in a bear trap. Oh, you're still stuck in a bear trap. Oh, crap. Oh, then a slime. Cool. I don't think there's a way to disarm uh, a trap. You can't. I mean, well, I'm sorry. There's a way to search for traps. Um, which I, I guess if I saw it, I could have, uh, uh, I guess, inspected it first. Pearl ring. Oh, man. Should I just put some of these rings on? Just YOLO. YOLO these rings. Let me see what I currently have. Let me get out of this room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go bust through this slime. Slime divides! Ick! Crap. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is bad. Because they could attack diagonally too. Oh no. I'm not even hitting the one. You missed the slime. Oh god, it still divides! Oh no! <laughs> Shit will kill by a slime! Let's do another one. Oh, hey, that was number two. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, let's do another one more. One more. One more. One more. Okay, this is going to be uh, uh, lore. There we go. We'll take Josh for a ride here. Boop. Kestrel down. Got some food. Bat. This is a go. It's not awake, so we can sneak up on it. The bats typically are, are, aren't... They don't move until they... Uh, this guy sees me. Uh, until you uh, get close to them. Let's just try to face off of this dude. Cool. Wow, six health. Yikes. Let's uh, let's run back and forth until crap. Throw an arrow at him. E. Okay, F three, F three, F three. Ugh. During that time, I actually recovered some hit points, which is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and put back on my mace. What? Do I have anything else? Did I pick up something I missed? No. Okay. I had all those rings and all those potions, all those things I could have could have experimented with, and then I got beaten up by a damn slime. One of them could have been like a, a some kind of slime, I don't know, deterrent or health or something, but nope. Nope. Kestrel, done. And you can also play this with the numpad, by the way, which lets you move diagonally. So if you want like, psh, like move diagonally, like so, like boom, like that. You can. Um, very rarely do I uh, do I have to use this, the 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 um, diagonal button because most of the time the mob is kind of moved to align itself uh, vertically or horizontally. That's kind of their preference for attack. They will attack uh, diagonally, but they'll typically try to you know get you uh, get you uh, face to face. Let's see, your little vanishes. You're gonna glow red. Okay, so this is uh, glow red. I'm guessing it's some kind of I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing I could guess, actually. Hobgoblin, take him out. Okay, well, nothing. We explore, we 100% the map. Zoom out. Oh, ice monster. Now, uh, mobs uh, will, some mobs will actually just start chasing you right up, right when you get in the map. Andrew the Bat. Andrew the Bat? Just kill it. Um, but there are mobs that just spawn. Like, if I just stay here and just keep going in circles, like, mobs keep coming. Like, they, they just seem to be just, like, a constant constant stream of uh, uh, of mobs. Oh, look at that. We'll just go ahead and do that. Look at that. Level 3. Some more golds. It's only 196, though. Hey, okay, some tiny rooms in this one. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay, so there's a secret passage somewhere. So we're gonna spam S and go in circles here. Every time you hit S, it's a roll, right? So 
it's possible that there is an entrance here somewhere. It searches the area around you too, by the way. So you don't just have to do it every square, but I'm doing it every square because it's every one is a roll. There we go. It's right there at the end. Of course it was. Of course it was. Orc swings and misses you. Let's see, we got a scroll. Let's read that scroll. B. Let's see what it vanishes. Uh, identify scroll. Awesome. I don't have anything to identify, unfortunately. I should have uh, saved that. But if I had a, something that said like an amber ring, if I identified it, it would tell me what the stats are of that ring. Um, well, let me go and identify the four rations of food. What is it? It's four rations of food. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good, good old dry humor. It's good. <laughs> it's exactly, exactly what I had to do. Kestrel down, twenty-four health. You'd feed the kestrel. Hey, okay. oh, teleport trap or something. You feel less confused now. Kestrel missed you. Okay, so that took like a trap door or something. Um, found seven gold pieces. Another scroll. Uh, title something differently. Let's read it. It vanishes. Oh, gosh. You know what? Oh, it's another teleport scroll. So now I'm way over here. Awesome. Oh, what was that? I feel less confused now. Thanks. So yeah, there's like a bunch of teleportation stuff going on here. Kestrel. The downside is that, you know, you have to fight all these mobs that keep showing up. Like that. Let's avoid that guy. You're starting to get hungry. Okay, here. This is when you, uh... When you eat, I think this. I think that's the that's the idea, right? You wait until, uh, oh no, you wait until he says you're weak or you're getting weak, then you do it. My bad. So I ate a little too soon. If you want your food to last, that is, you know, a little bit of strategy for you guys wanting to jump in and pick this up, not just indulging me here while I uh, play some <laughs> play my this game is my guilty pleasure here. All right, let's go. Next floor, level four. Woo! I think the highest I've been is like level six. I should clear this room before we go anywhere. And by clear the room, I mean connect all the uh, walled. All the wall pieces. Bat. 36 out of 39. Adventurer. I'm doing pretty good. Strength is 16. I wish I could up that a little bit. Let's see, I should probably not read this right now because I haven't explored this room, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Read school. It vanishes. Mace gives off the flash of intense white light. Uh Mace White Light. So I guess it's my whatever I'm wielding actually is now giving off an intense white light. I wonder if it does more like spirit damage or something, like more damage against undead. Unfortunately, there's no um there is no like hit points that you see on the mobs that you're fighting, obviously. Uh so but you will notice like if you're like one-shotting things more often without necessarily critting them, uh, then that's kind of a sign that okay, so this thing basically enhanced my um light. Actually, you know what it probably says right here. Oh yeah, look at that, plus two plus two. So it did enhance my um the stats on my mace. Excellent hit on the ice monster. Boy, I just wrecked that dude. So now I'm strong. Let me see. Tiny rooms. We're gonna get to a dead end here. Nope. Okay, bat. See ya. Squirt excellent hit on that bat. Let me read. B. Vanishes. What do you want to call it? Huh? Van vanished. <laughs> I didn't see that it did anything. My, my hit points, everything's the same. Okay. Oh man. Oh, this is gonna be a good run. Which means it's the last run. Potion. Uh, this is like some kind of magic or something. You have a holy staff. Oh, I can zap. That's right. Which direction is that way? Holy staff. B. Cool. Missile vanishes. A puff of smoke. Magic missile. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have a purple potion? Let's drink that. Let's go. Oh, confusion. So we're just gonna we're just gonna sit here and go in circles for a second until that clears up. There we go. And now we're gonna move on. Okay, nothing here. Now there could be something in these rooms if I go over there and smash the S button a million times. Wolfenstein 3D style, you know, just mashing all the walls. Oh, there's more magic here. Ooh. Uh, an identify scroll. Okay, first I'm gonna check my inventory, see if there's anything for me to identify before I do that. Turquoise, turquoise potion. Staff of magic missile. So you see, I can identify that staff of magic missile and it'll tell me, this is Holly, uh, and it'll tell me um, how much damage it does, which could be useful. I'm just gonna drink that that potion. So let me see. Scroll identify. It vanishes. Identify scroll. So now I'm gonna choose uh, D. Three charges. Oh, that's good to know. There we go. So I only have three more charges left then, unless that was three total. We'll see. I shot one. Let's go and drink that potion. Extremely dull. Uh, what do you call it? Dull. Here we go. Didn't seem to do anything at all. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see. Say snake. Uh, let's zap it. Well, uh, zap, zap it with my. Well, I'm gonna zap it, but not with my mace. <laughs> you hit the slime. You defeated the slime. Oh, slime. It's our R is rattlesnake. Ooh. Was that two in a row? Boy, that's painful. Look at my health. Let's uh, let's do a little dance. Let's have Josh do a little dance. Do 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 do. It's a long run. I was I, I thought it's gonna be like a ten minute for breakfast here. Oh my gosh, all this magic stuff. The scroll of teleportation. Uh, I see a scroll called glow red. Uh, and then ice monster. Oh, the ice that was ice monster. <laughs> so what's this thing? It's a fucking monster. Let's go ahead and read the uh, staff of glow red here, uh, and then we'll that way it'll just uh, glow red. your hands begin to glow red. Cool. I wonder how long that lasts. Your hand stopped glowing red. Okay, I one shot that guy. So it's definitely like a rage rage potion or something. Or rage something. Where's my glow red here? Yeah, glow red. So yeah, that's um I mean I, I one shot that guy, so I feel like maybe. But you know, it could just be a lucky shot, like I'm one shotting those guys too. Because I'm so strong. Uh what is an L? Let's send him diagonally here. Oh, that didn't work. Um uh, <laughs> Leprechaun. Oh, you don't have the leprechaun. Okay, hold on. Do I want to hit the leprechaun? Okay, he's swinging at me, so I guess we do. Did you drop gold? I, it wasn't keep track of my gold count. Uh, you have a spear. Ooh. Ice monster. Oh, I can't see shit in this room. Yum. A zombie. Scored an excellent hit. And I leveled up. Fighter. I'm a fighter. This is a good run. It's not the greatest in gold, so it's not going to rank very high, but in terms of an actual run, it's good. An opal ring. I don't have an identify scroll anymore, so let me check my inventory real quick, see if I ran over anything. See, scroll, teleportation, opal ring. Let's put that ring on anyways. Uh, let's see, I don't have a ring on right now, right? Yeah, okay, so we'll go to put on P. Uh, no, capital P. <laughs> B, which hand? R. Opal ring, right hand. Cool. Did anything change? Armor still the same. We'll have to identify it later. Bat, see a bat. This is a good run, man. Scroll called Glow Red. Okay, we're gonna save that when we come across something that's, uh... What was that? Before you have a banded male. Ooh, okay. So where... Oh, no? Hold on. Banded male. Is that not a thing to wear? Equip? Hmm. Let's keep going. What was that last message? You're starting to get hungry. Okay, we'll wait till I'm weak. Where is this exit? I want to get to level 7. I don't think I've been there yet. Weak. So he says weak in the bottom right corner. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, and eat four rations of food. Yum, that tastes good. Alright, cool. You will become immobile. Like, you won't be able to move anymore. Okay, let's, try, let's actually throw our spear at this guy here. Throw, which direction that way? A spear. Oh, baby! One shot! I'm just getting too good at this. Oh, we're gonna do it again. Throw, direction. Uh, where's the spear? Oh, did I not pick it up? Let's, uh... Let's throw an arrow. <laughs> that didn't really work, I guess. Oh, frozen. Uh-oh. You're frozen by a blast of frost from the ice monster. Oh, crap. You can move again. Good, good, good. Got him. That has ended bad for me so many times. Oh man, already? This, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Level 8. Ain't never been. RNG. Armor. Scale mail. I don't know how to equip mail. Equip, uh, let me see. Let me go back to... Um, oops. No. Escape. Cancel me. Eat food. Wield a weapon. Wear armor. Yeah, W. Capital W. Let me see. Capital W. I have to take it off first. So how do I unequip armor? Is he capital U? No. U? No. Let me see. This is the now 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 I'm stuck. I thought I was an expert at this game. Um <clears throat> you cancel command, search, wield a weapon. I bet it's drop. I bet you can't carry yet to drop. Oh T, take armor off, bottom left corner. Cool. Take armor off. Which direction? This way. Uh huh? Oh, capital T. Oops, uh, capital T. 
Let's see. Uh, you, you used to be wearing F1 armor class 5. Okay, well, let's put that down. And then we'll, um... Uh, then we'll wear capital W. Uh, I don't know which ones will be better. We have to identify them to really find out. That that ring was... Oh, well, sorry. The, the ring mail was 5. So I'm hoping that the, these are better. Scale mail sounds pretty dope. Let's get that. Uh, minus 2 scale... Armor class 3. Oh, that's weak. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's, uh, uh, let's take that off. So, take T for take off. It appears to be Chris. Fuck. <laughs> this is exact. This is exact. I told you guys, man. You gotta identify this stuff. Oh, God. Give me a break. Give me a break. My own. My own. Oh, I no. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's identify the uh, the other one, the other piece of uh, abandoned mail there. Um, oh, armor class seven. <laughs> it was just better. A oh, scale mail just sounded so cool though. Oh man, rip. Is there anything in the middle? Yeah, oh stairs. Guess what? Level nine. Where's my cursed mail? Oh armor. Look at that. You have leather armor. Thanks. Uh oh, is that an orc? It was orc here somewhere. He's taunting me. Uh oh, I fell into a trap. Level 10. You are damaged by the fall. Not much though. 8 damage. But we escaped that orc. I wonder if that orc fell down here too. <laughs> it's possible. This game has surprised me a number of times. I think you're discovering that the game is a little deeper than you would kind of initially think. Like, it's still, it's still an ASCII game. It's still relatively simple. But now you understand why there's, where all of these tropes for all of these, uh, oh, slime. Oh, boy. Please don't split. Okay, good. Uh, you know, where the baseline features for all of these roguelikes have come from, right? Uh, and it is kind of cool. Like, I, I had this game in my inventory for a while. Oh, we're gonna have to start searching here. Um, and I just, uh... I just never played it, you know, it's just kind of like, oh, you know, it's, oh, there it is, found an entrance here. Uh, it's, yeah, it's roguelike, whatever, I've played a million of them, and it sure is the original one. Oh, it's a centaur I beat, woo woo! Um, and I just figured, you know, I probably get the gist, and, you know, I, I do, I get the gist of the mechanics, but it's kind of, it, again, it's, it's kind of fun to play. Uh, and it surprises me a number of times. I'm hungry now, yeah, I'm hungry, yeah, sure, 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 I'm just trying to get my health up. I'm just gonna run in circles. Well, Josh is doing better than, uh, than Shizzle, look at that. What a surprise. Uh-oh. Rattlesnake times two. Boom, boom. We're gonna... Zap this direction. Let's go ahead and one-shot that guy. Cool. Oh, he's working me. He's injured me. Got him. Oh, well, eucalyptus staff. Okay. Just fire freaking... It's like the leaves or something. You feel very weak. There it goes. Let's eat now. You move again. Very weak. Okay, yeah, yeah. We gotta eat now. Yeah, that tastes very good. <laughs> Let's identify some food. What is it? It's food. Yeah, don't use identify scrolls until you actually need them. Hmm. Yeah, search. It seems that it's pretty consistent that those dead ends will almost always reveal... What was that? Uh, what's a new scroll? Uh, reveal something. So let's see. Uh, e. Where the scroll vanishes. Your main scroll is blue for a moment. Okay, so it's gonna be a uh, blue wep. Now, I don't know if those I think those names are just like, uh, uh-oh, oh, Leprechaun. Oh, Leprechaun's here. Well, I just whooped his ass, so, you know, whatever. What did the last message say? Your purse feels lighter. Son of a bitch! He stole some gold! <laughs> Let's see, search. Uh-oh. So, I did search, I did find. Oh, uh, let's zap. Let's see. Feel the zombie. The centaur hit me, though. Go this direction. We'll hit him with the uh, magic missile. Okay, let's zap him again. Uh, you clicked the staff. Please do something. Did nothing, looks like. Okay, cool. Uh, you don't hit the setar. Did an excellent hit on you. No! Dang, that was one hell of a run, though. That was a great run. Killed by a centaur. Dang, 557 gold. Didn't rank at the top, but you beat Shizzle. Fighter, level 10. Yeah, dude. So, so listen. <laughs> like I said, this is the original. It's it is it's two ninety nine on Steam. You could probably find it on like every every conceivable device, every conceivable platform, right, or some variation of it or something, um, because all the ga all games are based off of this. Uh, and it was a pleasure for me 
to show you guys this uh and so hopefully this is a learning experience for some of you or maybe a nostalgic experience for some of you guys who have played this like actually played it uh or just uh you know just in it for the lols because that's some of that shit was pretty fun i'm gonna identify some food <laughs> what is it it's food thanks game <laughs> my name is mike b aka phony the game is called epics rogue steam 299 thank you so much for watching love you guys bye